Hi, this is Miles from Miles Learning Investing. And today we're going to look at the subject of the poverty formula and also the wealth formula and see what we can learn from that. So here very, very simply is the poverty formula. Earn less money than the cost of your lifestyle. And how do you bridge the difference? You borrow it. You borrow the money. If you borrow that money to fund your lifestyle, eventually your borrowings will start to increase and the interest associated with the borrowings will start to cause you some, some, some severe discomfort, especially if it keeps on going on for a period of time. This is the scenario that will lead you into poverty. It's basically digging a ditch and the more you dig, the deeper you go into a hole. And it's one of those scenarios where the, deep, the deeper you go into the hole, the worse it gets. Okay, this is the poverty formula. You earn less than the cost of your lifestyle, and then you borrow the difference. But then you might say, well, come on, Miles, that's really simple. I just earn more money. Okay, cool. According to Dave Ramsey, unless you control your spending, making money won't help you. All you're going to do is just end up with bigger payments. Now, what's interesting is that when I was a young accountant, a friend of mine came to my house with a brand new shiny sports car and literally about maybe a month before i got a pay rise and my salary doubled and so i was feeling pretty pleased with myself anyway he comes along to my family home so i was 25 at the time i was a you know family man with with a, with wife and kids and he was a single man he comes to my house with this beautiful sports car and he's basically showing off and by the time he left I had said to myself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show him that I can do the same thing too. So I told my missus at the time that I was going to go and buy myself a brand new two-seater Mercedes car. All because I'd been stoked up by my friend turning up, showing off his car. What would that mean? It meant that all of a sudden, just to keep up with the Joneses, I was going to have bigger car payments just because I could afford to do so. And this is the problem when you earn more money, unless you control your spending and keep it down through decisions you make to not spend it all, you'll end up spending more. You just get bigger houses, bigger cars, bigger expenses, a bigger lifestyle. So earning more money on its own is not enough. Then what is enough? Well, here is a solution. You need to earn more money than the cost of your lifestyle. And the surplus, you need to invest it in income producing appreciating assets. Appreciating assets are assets that go up in value over time. Once you buy it, the future value is gonna be higher than the past value. So you want something that goes up in value. And you want that asset to give you an income while you are holding it. And this is what you wanna spend the surplus on. If you do this, this will make you wealthy. This is the wealth formula. This is Miles from Milestone Investing. If you like this video and you wanna see more, Click the like button. Thank you.